Today we are going to make tin for iodide. For this preparation you are going to need dichloromethane, iodine and also tin metal. We start off by weighing out the reagents. 2.97 grams of tin powder and also 12.75 grams of iodine. A really simple reflux condenser was set up. We started off by transferring the tin powder to a 100 milliliter round bottom flask. The tin powder was followed by around 20 milliliters of dichloromethane. Then the iodine was just dumped in. The reflux condenser was quickly put on top of it. We should have done this beforehand, but because I didn't do it, I added a hot plate. Some plain, normal sand was put onto the hot plate to ensure more even heating. Two minutes later, the mixture started boiling. Purple vapors of iodine appeared in the flask. When everything looked like this, I turned off the hot plate. A normal balloon was put on top of the flask. The balloon acts as a sort of semi-permeable membrane. Iodine and DCM vapors can leave the flask while excluding humidity from entering it. The footage you see here has been recorded two days after the actual preparation. Therefore, our contents were already dry. We transferred the tin for iodide to a beaker. After weighing it out to see that we got 15 grams of tin for iodide, which corresponds to a yield of 95.8%, all of the stuff was transferred to an ampule. The ampule was carefully sealed using a Bunsen burner. The black stuff you see forming at the top of the ampule should actually be metallic tin. Here you can have a closer look at our ampule product. Tin for iodide has a somewhat orange or yellow color. Now for the fun part. We still had some leftover tin iodide. Therefore we added some distilled water. 
Tin iodide reacts with water to form hydroiodic acid. Using a pH strip, you can see that it was instantly turned red, which indicates the presence of acid. Because tin iodide has really low boiling point, I decided to heat up some of it. The vapors look somewhat like bromine when looked at from the outside, but when inspected closely they are more of a whitish color. They still looked interesting. Orange, red, white, whatever. If you liked today's video feel free to drop me one of these and consider subscribing to my channel for more stuff like this in the future. Also remember wear a respirator while doing this you don't want to mess around with this stuff because it is a volatile tin compound and well you don't want to breathe in metal. Subscribe, like, I wish all of you a nice day until next time bye.